guys. You know that. You're in for a bunch of highs and a whole bunch of lows because it's all determined by what's going on around you. But when you live the life of a thermostat, you draw from something within you that determines what the atmosphere is around you. I mentioned the Apostle Paul. He is the greatest example that I know of of a thermostat living guy. Because even when he was in prison, he could write words like he did in Philippians chapter 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say rejoice. He could write things like I've learned the secret of being content. No matter what situation I'm in, I've learned how to be content with life. He would write for me to live as Christ, for me to die is gain. That's being a thermostat. As you live out your life, understanding how specially unique you are and how you bring something to the table that nobody else can bring to the table. Doesn't mean you're entitled to, to have things given to you. Doesn't mean you're indispensable or irreplaceable. But it does mean you bring something uniquely that is you to the table. And you're going to use those 86,400 seconds of your day, every day of your life, being a thermostat. Determining the atmosphere around you. Paul would write in Romans chapter 12, don't be conformed to this world. Don't be pressed in some type of cookie cutter and be molded and shaped by the world. But instead... Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You see, your attitude is everything. The attitude that you approach your life with means everything. As a man thinks in his heart, so is he. The last challenge I want to give to you, unless you really want me to go four hours. <laughs> It is not always popular to do the right thing. And it is not always right to do the popular. So just do the right thing. I love your class motto. I also love this company. But I love your class motto. Be the change that you want to see in the world. I wish I had known that had been your class motto. I'd have had a whole other speech for it. <laughs> Be the change that you want to see in this world. Use your uniquely special gifts that God has blessed you with. Use your 86,400 seconds every day of your life to be the change that you want to see in this world. Thanks for having me as your speaker.